In another video, we have introduced how to patch the fixtures. So in this video, I would like to talk about some other functions in the patch menu. On the list here, we can find the patching information, such as unit ID, fixture name, address, and so on. At this time, if I select one of the fixtures, for example this one, then select the option, Patch Selected Type. It can help us to patch the same fixture directly without looking for it in the library. Next, I select one of the patched fixtures first. Then select the option, Repotch. In the pop-up dialog, we can change the output line and its address of the selected fixture. At this time, if the target address is already used. For example, I select this address, we can see the addresses are highlighted. In case we continue to press confirm, then the fixture can still be updated to the new address. However, the fixture previously using this address will be suspended. You will have to repotch this fixture again. But the unit ID will not be changed after raw patched. The option, Unpotch, allows you to delete the useless fixture. The console offers the RDM function. We can remotely change the mode and their address on the practical fixtures, if they are RDM supported. If the RDM supported device are connected, there will be a fixtures list here after we press full discover. We can use the options here to set the address or the mode on the fixtures. Press the option fixture parameter. We can select the needed fixtures. Then select whether to swap the pan, tilt, or invert tilt or pan, or invert dimmer. The unset function is helpful to offset the local value of tilt and pan channels for the fixtures without perfectly placed. Here are the functions from the patch menu.